remarkable demonstration by a crowd of several hundred outside the courthouse in Pretoria. Nelson Mandela, his wife you just saw, accused with the others of plotting sabotage to overthrow the South African government by force. From day one of our arrest, the police drummed it into our heads, you are going to die, you are going to hang. And that remained their attitude right through the trial. <coughs> Firstly, the state alleges the planned purpose thereof was to bring about chaos, disorder and turmoil in the battle to be waged against the white man in this country. We knew that there was no hope of getting an acquittal. The question was, what do we do with the trial? They all got a shock when our lawyers announced that Mandela will not give evidence, but he'll make a statement from the dock. He stood up and he proceeded to deliver the speech. I have dedicated my life to this struggle of the African people. And I knew he was going to say, in effect, hang me if you dare to, Mr. Judge. But only when he said it. It is an idea for which I hope to live for. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. It was terribly moving. Nobody said anything. Even the judge didn't know what to say. I knew it was a moment of history. He emerged then as a great leader. As we were being flown uh, to Robben Island, one uh, tried uh, to accept the reality that we may in fact uh, spend years in prison. But we believed very strongly that we would not die in jail we would return. But uh, we stayed there for 27 years. <laughs>